Welcome to Enlightened TV, home of trending news, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrity, and metro news. Today's headline reads, Namni Kanu reacts as Imo youth attack Governor Hope Uzodima. If this is your first time of watching our channel, we urge you to click on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay notified. Now the news in detail. Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, has reacted to the attack of the governor of Imo State. Kanu, in a Facebook post, warned that this is the beginning, as we foretold a few days ago. Daily Post reported that Uzodima was attacked Sunday afternoon at Ahaji Eboma local government area. Youths of Mahu community reportedly shouted, Oye Oshi vote, Oye Oshi vote at the governor upon his arrival at the area, throwing bottles and sticks at the convoy. Kano described Uzodima as a Fulanese stooge, adding that there will be no rest for any Fulanese stooge in Briafra line. Hope Uzodima will be made an example of that others may learn that Fulani Caliphate or their Supreme Court of Corruption cannot impose leaders on us. Kanu further recalled as he mocked the governor, the Supreme Court governor of Imo State, escaped it moments ago at Ohi Ebema. The youth of Mahu community, who upon sighting the governor's convoy, started shouting, Oye she vote, Oye she vote, started throwing bottles and weapons on the bulletproof SUV of the governor. Uzodima was, however, not allowed to come down from the car as security operatives whisked him away immediately. Kanu said, prior to the Supreme Court final ruling on the Imo governorship tussle, Kanu told the Supreme Court to nullify the election of Uzodima as Imo governor and order a fresh governorship election in the state. I urge you at this point to drop your comment. What do you think they should have done? And what is the state of the nation? Thank you very much for watching. God bless you.